Let's pray together here on day three about the sin that breaks the holiness connection in our lives. Father, we recognize that you are holy and pure, and that that holiness you call me to demands purity. If I am to be holy like you are holy, I have to be pure like you are pure. And Lord, like Isaiah, we want to see your holiness. We want to catch a glimpse of it. We want to realize how far above us you are. Oh God, let the moral weight of your glory press down upon our hearts and minds until it crushes us, crushes us down to a place of humility. Lord, we, we want to delight in holiness. We want to see the value and the beauty and the glory of it. But, oh God, when we see the beauty and the, the, the purity and the cleanness of you and your character, it reminds us that we are not like that. Oh God, would you change and transform like you did for Isaiah? We realize, Lord, that, that the impurity of our hearts goes deeper than just a few things that we've done wrong. It goes down to the heart of us and the mouth of us and the habits and the thinking, and it touches everything that we are. Oh, God, help us to see ourselves. During this 40 days, I pray for myself and for my prayer partner who's with me here today. I pray that your holiness would be revealed to us in new and glorious ways, and that in seeing you, we would also see ourselves. I pray that we would not gloss over it, or like James says, walk away and forget what kind of person we saw, but that we would trust in you and depend upon you to create in us the moral clarity and beauty and purity of your holiness as you did for Isaiah. We pray that you do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue in praying and seeking God together in your own words.